Hey, hey, good morning, Zhao Shang Hao, as we say. I um, want to have a quick conversation with you today um, about this concept, understanding the power of our skin, okay? Um, the power of our skin. And so this comes from um, a Taoist philosophy um, that is um, really rooted in an ancient science of observation. The stuff that comes up in this course of study is freaking mind-blowing at times. So anyway, the skin is known to be the largest organ of the body. Sometimes people don't see the skin as an organ, but it is said to absolutely be an organ, right? <clears throat> and within the skin, you have receptor sites. So our hairs serves as antennas, right? So this is why you ever been into a creepy place in a sense, and it'd be like, ooh, the hairs on my arms stood up. You can feel it, and that's a change. Like that, That's been real. I know you've probably experienced this before. So the theory is the energy in the environment permeates the skin and we're taking it in and this could be good and this could be bad, okay? Now, there's a concept called guaymen, which means ghost gate. And the negative entities of the negative energy, negative entities actually through vibrational pattern can also be negative electromagnetism or uh, magnetic radiation, i.e. certain planets for sure, right? Um, this energy is a vibration of waves and it comes in, it permeates the skin, and then it starts to go deeper into the tissues and even the organs and the joints, particularly the joints, right? <clears throat> And so the whole thing is about, and, and, and this is why, again, this is why I specifically came to China, because as somewhere in your study, I truly believe, I truly believe this, you're going to find out that your body in the spirit of God or the Christ consciousness or God himself, herself, manifests itself as one of the greatest components of our understanding inside of us. So to a degree, your personal relationship with God needs a mirror. So you, so it, God, the God self can see itself within you, within me, within each other in the sense of looking at the mirror, okay? And when you start to understand that, well, okay, God is in me, the great I am and things of that nature, then you're going to have to start to undergo a process to unlock that divinity within you, which equates to unlocking our highest human potential to get the best expression of this God force energy that's within us. Now, what happens if you don't? nothing perhaps right but i do dare say something because see the moment that you put yourself on the trail of starting to know and expand you can't necessarily leave anything unchecked because the soul is in the process of evolving and you know this evolutionary process of growing I always say, oh my God, it's such a beautiful crane. Um, I always say that only thing you have to do is look at your wisdom teeth. And so since we can't use these four teeth that are connected to cranial nerves in our brain, that shows us that the human being is literally under a process in a process of evolving into a greater capacity mentally because each pair of teeth, each tooth is connected to a cranial nerve in the brain. So currently we have 12 pairs of cranial nerves, which are 24, which are the 12 zodiac signs and the 24 hours in a day, okay? So we're actually evolving to expand here, okay? Now, whether that makes the days longer in the future and the evolution, that's gonna be interesting to see. So since we enter this process of evolution, then what are the techniques or the discipline that we must undergo in order to unlock this great 
temple of God? That becomes the question. That became my question. And for years, I had been studying various philosophies, India yoga techniques, Tantra, um, Taoism, um, Buddhism, Islam, through Sufism, through the Nation of Islam, um, you know, Christianity, of course, so you kind of start right there in a sense, you know, um, mystical Hebrew, the Kabbalah aspect of everything and all these schools um, all have a great truth and an underlying same theme. But some of them stop at a certain point and don't get into certain things. And right now, I am of the school of dealing with Taoism um, simply because it addresses science, which is a matter of fact, spirituality. And these two are hand in hand because I, I love the saying from Joe Dispenza, science is the contemporary language of mysticism. Okay. And so science is really explaining spiritual invisible laws here, okay? Um, and when, when it's this particular school of thought is the one that really gets into the body. It really gets into the body here, okay? And so <clears throat> there is a system within this school of thought that I share with those in the fixed gate that and, and this is and this is key too men and women are not anatomically the same right our physiology is not even the same right so therefore our practice can't be the same you see what i'm saying similar but it's not the same okay and so within this particular system though there is um a set of exercises that you can do to start to open up certain points in the body um, to allow this what's called chi pathogens or pathogenic chi, which is negative energy that will later or probably already has manifested itself in some form of disease. Because you know, from the Chinese perspective is disease, which is jibbing, is nothing more than a blockage. Um, blockage is zura, all right? A blockage, so zura chi, a blockage of energy somewhere, okay? The, the chi is not flowing and it got stagnated and it got stuck. And this is very interesting when you made up of trillions of cells, what makes us think that all the cells are really operating at their optimum capacity and so when you look at that culture the chinese you see that it is a staunch rigorous dedication to movement if you don't move the body you in trouble the the, the chi becomes stagnant you become fat your spine starts to compress that happened to me from hours of you know, computer work, right? Hours of research and typing and writing and reading and you know what I mean? Then before that, you know, driving's all I did. You know what I mean? Like that's a compression of the spine. And you in big trouble when you start compressing the spine or any muscle there, you know, for that matter. So you gotta extend it and open it up, right? Especially the spine because that's where the electrical current flows up and down from the central nervous system to feed every single organ and tissue in our body information. So the spinal cord is absolutely probably the most precious part, uh, all of it's precious, but that's a very critical part of the body, okay? And so, um, you know, understanding that, hey, 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 because the spine is really Jacob's ladder. So really understanding that, hell, oh, oh, I have to take what I know and what I study and I have to start dealing with the body and then I gotta put the body in some form of action, activity. It's even said like this, when you understand the history of Shaolin, right? The Buddha from India came and taught them physical exercises because 
at that time, they was just more sitting down and meditating type of vibe. And the body is starting to deteriorate when you do that. So he had to come and introduce them to the balance, right? To the balance. How we say balance? Huh? Ping Hong, right? <clears throat> so he had to introduce them to the balance of physicality and spirituality. That's even in the Western mystical. See, this is what this is what I mean. When you look at the Western mystery school of masonry, Freemasons, you got the physical pillar called Boaz that deals with the terrestrial physical earth. And then you got the celestial pillar, Yaken, right? That symbolize spirituality in the cosmos, right? But nothing in masonry deals with moving your body to get the light. Now, mind you, a Masonic symbol is a compass, a square with the letter G. And anytime you see that, we say that it's symbolic for the light. So as a Mason, I see another Mason, I'd be like, oh shit, he got his light on. Oh shit, bro, you blinded me with all that light on, right? Because they really supposed to be mysteries seekers of the light that that's the mystery understanding how light operates how it osculates as well right but if the light was is within you heartbeat brainwave static electricity rub your feet on carpet you convey electrical force come out you right if the light is within you then why are there not any practices that involves you opening up the light so the light can shine brighter. It's not there, okay? It's not there, all right? So it's all about hand symbols and, you know, surface level mystery stuff, but absolutely not an inch of practicality as it pertains to the body. They don't even know it that it pertains to the body, okay? All right? <clears throat> and so anyway, it's important for us to really pay attention to the environment that we in. And I've all, and I've always been super sensitive to environments. And this is why I don't really do groups of people like that. I'm kind of more cautious, I'm standoffish to a degree. Um, it's because I'm sensitive to people's energy and whatnot. Um, environmental energy is, is, is the key. So as I say, as I'm in my spot <clears throat> in nature, Zora, nature, you always you, you you have to find you a place because here's the kicker man if if the body is taking in light that you see is coming right and let's just say the sun in the sky right now happens to be in front of let's just say some negative star energies because remember all energies could be classified as either positive radiations or negative radiations so as we start to approach Halloween, right? Um, All Saints Day, things of that nature, we start honoring the dead and there's nothing wrong with the dead, right? But what if, for lack of a better word, what if this area of space really deals with more of the um, nocturnal dark side, right? Had a great conversation. Um, yesterday, we was talking about dark and light and, you know, being scared of dark and things of that nature. But what I'm talking about is, is it's a fact, I want to put it in human psychology. It's a fact that some psychology is bright and that's considered more your joy, your happiness. You want to be around this person and whatnot because they're just great to be around. They uplift, right? And then there's a whole nother energy that we call dark. Okay, that's more of, they kill us. Man, Anton did a video on Nicki Minaj's husband and how he was outside with Offset. I mean, outside with his friends waiting for Offset. And the sounds, and I hope we can get a clip to put it in here. The sounds that these dudes was making, Anton came to a revelation that hit him. He was like, bro, this is demonic possession. They, they talking about come outside, we want to kill you. 
and they making all these 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 crazy sounds. I hope we get that clip and put it in here, right? What is all of these noises? This is what I, this these this is demonic. And so I want to talk about personality types when it comes to light and darkness in a sense. But what if when the sun is in this area of a certain space, more of that killer dark type of psychology starts to come out within humanity at this particular time? We call it Halloween, right? Interesting. So the point is, if the sun is radiating the light, in conjunction with stars that have negative radiations and this light is now touching my skin you can see it's touching my skin and i'm taking in this negative radiations what is my practice what am i to do to cultivate and stay on my square to cultivate the christ energy or light within me because i don't want to be mad I don't want to go through X, Y, Z and have these negative experience. That's not what I elect to do. So then what is the practice? And this is where the fixed gate comes in, right? And to a degree, sometimes surface level stuff that I put inside the Patreon for sure. And I'm never the one to deny anybody something if they ask me a question in a sense, right? But some stuff really takes a dedicated practice, okay? And so <clears throat> um, you have to get out in nature, I keep saying it because nature produces something called negative ions. So now this becomes, see the real negativity, we got it reverse, but it's fine. Nature produces negative ions, which regenerates us. Okay. What we call the negative radiations in the sense of psychology is really positive, but for simple terms, okay. The bad radiation starts to get neutralized by this positive effect that we have in nature. Okay? I know that makes sense. Because in simple math, if a negative is coming in and you introduce a positive, it goes bye-bye and you neutral out to zero. Okay? And now there's ways that you can start to tap into fascia, chi, understanding skin system, breathing patterns with certain, certain intention, certain movements where you can start to literally feel. Yesterday I was doing this technique that I was taught and all this started to come on. Exactly where, like it said it would, right? And I said, oh, yeah, you can feel this, right? And to me, this is important because this particular system that we're studying expels pathogenic or what we would call negative chi from the body that's hidden and locked in. This is an interesting point because, see, what if, what if, the reasons why we keep having flashbacks or these off days in a sense or not so good days, right? Is because the energy is still locked inside of you somewhere. This is why it's a known fact that when you start undergoing certain yoga stances, um, certain, you know, certain stances, you start to have emotional breakthroughs, crying releases the energy is stored in the body. I always share that with my father because I like to share real life experiences where, you know, the kidneys is ruled by Libra, which is marriage partner. And, you know, his, his perception of marriage was a very stressful thing because his spouse, you know, cheated on him. And so his, he lost a kidney behind that, right? Because the adrenals, which is which sits on top of the kidneys where produces cortisol, which is the stress producer chemical. The stress producer sits on top of the kidney. So the kidney is like the most sensitive one to stress and you gonna get it. And so then the kidney starts to become affected. Okay, so this is real life stuff. I remember working with a guy 
for a few years helping him build his thing um and i didn't see eye to eye with him and i had developed a right sty a sty over my right eye rather and i never forget i had it for a few years too i never forget the moment i stopped working with him about two weeks later i had went up there to, to you know do do something went up there and he pointed it out and he said oh i see that style over your eye is gone and it was because internally i didn't see eye to eye with him so much so that it manifested itself the right side is said to be the masculine side that it manifested itself on the masculine side of my perception and it made me really think about those egyptians with the eye of Ra, the eye of Horus, also known as the eye of Wadre. Um, if we look at Mahamza hand, it deals with the evil eye and how sensitive the eyes really are. How much they can see into the soul. This is why, like for me, I'm so sensitive. If I'm around you, a lot of like, I don't really be all up in people facing, look, looking them all in the eyes like that because it's invasive to me. I can see souls. Especially if I smoke one, it's a wrap. I'm super sensitive, right? And so I don't like people all up in my soul space. You know what I'm saying? This is why, this is, this, see, this is real. This is why somebody looking at you, you'd be like, damn, why is they looking at that? That's rude. It's the energy that you feel, right? So you have to welcome that. That has to be consensual in a sense. You know what I mean? So anyway, anyway, I digress. I say this, man. I say this. Um, find you a practice to do a physical practice that is going to cultivate the inner light within yourself and expel the negative energy the things that we're personally doing listen this is going to take i estimate about a year and a half the, the, the women that are studying certain things because it's it's specifically coming from the ancient orient that deal with women practices probably gonna take a good 18 months of dedication to really unlock this energy and the same with men this is serious stuff right serious serious stuff man. so find you a practice um again if you may be interested in seeing some of our introduction papers um shoot us an email because you can only get them through inquiry they're not in the public domain you can inquire you can get them um but i tell you this if you're not ready to undergo specifically learn Tai Chi, um, then don't even ask for them because at this point it's just strictly mental and I don't necessarily cater to strictly mental. It's making the mind actually focus on the body and then it's the purification of this by purifying this. So it's a, it's a yin yang marrying that's taking place from the years of study and experience along with also journeying with you inside of these techniques and teachings that are given to me okay and so but feel free to email us hit us up and join the patreon where we oh this oh we oh 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 we having a full moon money party coming up the full moon's gonna be in taurus taurus is the bull money wall street uses the bull i talked about this numerous times um you can bring your real money or you can go to amazon and get you some prop money you need to get comfortable. Taurus is what? The throat, thyroid speaking. You need to get comfortable speaking your financial existence, your financial well-being into existence. You ain't got to share the big thing, but learn how to get comfortable and play with 10,000, 100,000. Learn to get comfortable to play and verbalize that little play play. Learn to get comfortable with that. Because if you can't get comfortable with that, then there may be a severe disconnect that you have with the finances. And we want to rid that. Okay, so join the Patreon, man, because it's gonna be popping. It's only fifteen dollars. I'll be sharing this kind of information, which I'm, I'm showing you some astronomical shit that people don't even really be talking about like that. You know what I'm saying? It's more in depth because I deal with stars and not just says, not necessarily planets. Is the reason why Halloween is Halloween? There, there's a certain area of what we call darkness in comparison to the joy, the jovial, more of the Leo type of energy, right? They're, these are two totally different frequencies and whatnot. There's a reason why the new year is the new year. It's a reason for this stuff, and it's all astronomical based. Okay? So, anyway, man, love to see you. Holla at you.